morning y'all it is april 24th and i am back on trail so today i'm doing the section from it's a 22 mile section so it's from this parking area and then i'll be going uh past uh mcafee knob and then tinker cliffs and then to delville it's a 20 like around 22 mile section so i'm going to um just do an overnight today um tonight and then tomorrow i should have a short day into delville i think i'll only have like nine or eight miles to hike tomorrow um but i'm not exactly sure where i'm going to today to camp um, i'm just gonna see how far i can get i'm not gonna rush it because of my knee so i'm just gonna you know hike whatever pace i can hike at that's the most comfortable um but yeah this section should be amazing coming up and this will be my first time spending the night in the woods since i've been back and um so and so what's gonna happen is my wife's gonna pick me up saturday and then we're gonna drive to the next location south of here um to the next place where we're gonna stay and and do um, so she can drop me off and do that next section. So, um, yeah, so through this whole thing, I'll have a few sections, like three or four, where I'm going to have to stay overnight a few nights on the trail. But that's okay. I mean, today the weather is supposed to be amazing. It's not supposed to rain tonight. It's supposed to rain tomorrow afternoon, but I should be done early. So hopefully I'll avoid that. But if not, no big deal because I'll be able to dry off and stuff when I get picked up so yeah man I'm looking forward to it and I'm ready to get hiking so I'm gonna keep on hiking northbound and I will get back with y'all all right
Hey y'all, so I made it to McAfee Knob, or McAfee Knob, however you pronounce it. Man, look at this view. Actually, the actual knob is right back there. Um, there's some people there, so I didn't want to really get loud. If you can see, there's someone back there too. So there's still people hiking for sure. But man, what a beautiful day. Man, look at this. This view is amazing. Be beautiful to live in that valley right there, right? Man. Such an incredible view. Such an incredible place. Man. I am super, super fortunate to be out here. Especially on a day like this. And it's like mid-60s. Supposed to get to 70 today. Man. Can't ask for anything better than this. There's a, like a 20% chance of thunderstorms, really little, but you can tell there's a little one forming out there, but it seems like the wind blows them out, so they don't seem too much of a threat. Um, yeah, man, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. Man, man, oh my gosh, look at this. All right, all right. I'm just rambling. So I'm going to hang out here a little bit. Um, I met some people there that I had met the other day when I was going southbound. Really, really cool people. So probably hang out, talk with them for a little bit, eat a power bar, just enjoy the view. And then I'm going to get back to hiking northbound and I will get back with y'all. All right.
y'all. Man, what a beautiful, beautiful day. Oh my God. Nice little view back there too behind me. You can see. Man. So when I was up on um, uh, McAfee Knob, there were these three young people. Um, and one of the guys was in the army. Or he still is in the army. Um, in reserves, I think he said. And really, really nice guys. Um, and they had a, um, a girl with her too. Um, man, they told me their name. I'm so, so bad with names. But anyway, so the the bigger guy who's in the army they both might have been in the army i'm not sure but the one guy definitely was he was like um do you know a guy named lock mckinnon 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 i think is his name and i was like yeah yeah he um he watches my videos and comments a lot and he's like okay okay he's like and i believe he said i go oh do you know him and he's like well yeah he's my girlfriend's grandfather i believe that's what he said he said he's my girlfriend's grandfather or girlfriend's father but i think he said grandfather i'm not sure either father or grandfather Locke, you know and i was like yeah i definitely know lock um because we've talked back and forth you know on social media social media is such a weird thing like it's weird how after a while even though you might not have ever seen someone face to face but you've just communicated back and forth back and forth um, it's weird how you feel like you know the person, but it's you do kind of and so he was like Do you know him and I'm like, well, yeah, I mean I know him from social media, but we've never met and he's like, okay, okay um, Yeah, so that was cool. Nice guy lock and um, Cool, man. Um, I hope you're doing good lock But yeah, man, so that was pretty cool. It's always cool when um, Someone's like do you know so-and-so and you recognize the name from your comments on your videos um yeah so but man nice kids very very nice kids i mean they're right behind me they said they're gonna go a little bit past me they said they're gonna try to camp at tinker cliffs tonight um and i i kind of have my eyes set on this um campsite that uh i can't remember it's in a it's something filled campsite and it's right after a shelter the only problem is the wind has started kicking up and um it's supposed to be like 10 to 20 today um, so if it's a field, it might not be good unless it's maybe on that side of the mountain because the wind is definitely coming from this west northwest it said and this is east over here. So if it's over on that side, maybe I'll get lucky. If not, maybe I'll get some water and just walk until I find a nice stealth spot that's like protected from the wind. Um, but we'll see. It's only like I think it's like 2:30 right now. And I still have five miles to go. I'm hiking really slow, just taking my time. Um, yeah, mostly because of my knee. Um, but still, it's just a nice day to do it. Why not, right? Um, and that's a big reason I'm doing the overnight tonight. So I could, so I don't have to do the 20, the 22 straight. It's 22 or 21, I can't remember. But either way, um, there's nowhere to get off on from this section through. So it was either do a long slack, which I wasn't sure because of my knee, or just do an overnight, which I decided to do the overnight to play it safe. Um, so yeah, but man, beautiful day, beautiful weather. Um, the wind could be a little bit less, but you know, I hate to complain just about that. But yeah, man, I mean, what a great section. So I'm going to keep on hiking northbound. I'll probably take a break in like an hour or so. And um, I will get back with y'all. All right.
Hey y'all. So, whew, I'm about three miles to from that camp spot that I'm going to stay at, um, that I was thinking about staying at. It's 3.30 right now, so it'll probably be about time to quit by the time I get there. So, those, those young people were telling me they were camping at Tinker Cliffs tonight. So, for some reason, I was thinking Tinker Cliffs was past where I was planning on camping. Um... And I was thinking I was going to do that tomorrow, but then I looked and I'm almost to Tinker Cliffs. I think I have like a half mile and I'll be at Tinker Cliffs. So, um, yeah, for some reason I thought it was yesterday. It was tomorrow. It was in a different spot than I was thinking, but I'm almost there. But I had told those young people that they could get water at that camp spot that I was staying at um, before they get to Tinker Cliffs. But... They can't because it's after Tinker Cliffs. Man, I hope they didn't listen to me. I don't think they did because we were on a cafe knob. And um, the, the guy was like, oh yeah, um, we, we, got, we already got water because you have to carry water. Sorry, the wind's picking up. You have to carry water from here to there because there's no water. And there isn't any water. So uh, I hope they got it. If not, man... Oh man, I feel bad about that. Um, if not, it's just another mile and a half down to that camp spot. So um, hopefully, but I think they already had water. I think that's kind of what he was saying. But anyways, um, man, what a beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful day. Um, man, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that spot I'm camping at, even though it's a field, like I said, I'm hoping it's out of this wind, because the wind's pretty gnarly, and I would love to just chill out at camp and relax, um, but I hate, I hate just chilling out at camp when it's windy like this, I usually will just duck in my tent, just to get out of the wind, um, yeah, so, going about, I think, I think it's like .7 that way to Tinker Cliff. So I'm going to keep on hiking, and when I get to that camp spot, I will get back with y'all. All right.
right, y'all. This is my home for the night. So I am at a camp spot not too far from the shelter. The shelter is back, back there. Um, I'd say like point two. But as you can see, there's a nice stream. And there's my tent. And so the AT, AT goes straight down that way. Um, and it goes southbound up this hill. And you can see there's all this flat spot to camp. Some more flat spot here. But I just like this spot right by the water. Yeah, man. Beautiful, beautiful camp spot. So, when I got here, right when I got here, um, this guy, through hiker came down. His name's Magician. And I had met him, not yesterday, the day before when I was doing hiking along the Eastern Continental Divide. Um, and we just talked really shortly. And then I saw him coming down. I was like, yeah, I talked to you on the Eastern Continental Divide. And he's like, oh, yeah, right. And so I was explaining what I'm doing out here and um, just finishing up my through hike. And, um, yeah, so he was excited for me. Super cool guy. Very enthusiastic. <laughs> he used to work at a circus. So, man, I love people like that, man, that just do crazy stuff, you know, like work at a circus. Um, yeah, so, and then when I was up on Tinker Cliffs, there was another couple. They were just doing the um, Virginia Triple Crown. Um, but they were up there hammocking. Super, super sweet couple. Um, they had two dogs with them. And their one dog was a Border Collie. Super sweet. Just l super lover. And then they had like a German Shepherd mix. And that dog was not <laughs> very nice. Luckily, I know how to handle dogs. So I just like talked real tough to him. And, you know, and he I let him smell my hand. And he finally sn sniffed. And then he sat down. And then he followed me. Um back to where they were camped so yeah man um meeting a, i met and then i like i said i saw the the three um who i saw the other day who were finishing in delville so man been meeting really really nice people on the trail even though there's not a lot of people out here um hiking which is nice i'm not gonna lie it's nice because right now this trail would be jammed jammed this spot right here um but it's not, so, um, yeah, so I think I'm just going to sit over here, I'm going to eat something, of course, I'm going to edit my video, and just chill out, it's like 5.30 right now, still pretty early, um, considering it doesn't get dark now till like 8, 8.30, so, it's really nice, it's really, even though I have my down jacket on, I just have it on because of the breeze, but it's really, really, really pleasant out right now, feels great the bugs are out a little bit but not that bad this spot is not bad at all for the bugs um and as soon as i just put a little bit of spray on and they're gone man they're not even messing with me um yeah just nice spot tranquil right by the stream can't get any better than this yep so i will talk to y'all later all right Hey y'all, so I'm going to end it for today. Man, what an amazing day. I mean, I can't even say enough good stuff about today. Can't complain about anything. I mean, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Spring day, just, man, met a lot of great, awesome people today. 
Um, the scenery, the views were just amazing. McAfee Knob and Tinker Cliffs. Tinker Cliffs is just, to me, I think it's better than McAfee Knob and Dragon's Tooth. Tinker Cliffs is just amazing. I love that. I love that little area. Um, yeah, but believe it or not, it's 8 o'clock right now. I've been sitting there eating, editing all day. And then, and so the, the, the young people that I met are at the shelter. And the shelter is just right up there. It's not really far at all. And so I saw these two young deer. And they were just grazing along, right along that hill. And um, not even minding me. They didn't even care. And then they kind of went over there. And all of a sudden, I see them running. And their dog, Louie, just ran after him. And I mean, he went, he just ran straight up that hill and was gone. I was like, oh man, I hope that dog comes back. But he finally came back to my camp. And then I called them and told them to call their dog um, to come. So, because it, it was confusing. You could tell it wasn't sure where to go. Yeah, but man, what an amazing day. Yep, so I guess I'm going to crawl into my tent and I downloaded a movie, They Live. I thought it was pretty appropriate for the current times. And I'm going to watch that and probably drift to sleep pretty early and get an early start. And um, yeah. I hope tomorrow is just as amazing. It's supposed to rain, but not till the afternoon. So hopefully it's still that way. I don't know. I haven't even looked to see if I have service or not. Um, but either way, it doesn't matter if it rains or not. Yeah. So with all that said, I will talk with y'all in the morning. All right.